through the breaks of school. I pay for my own security bus yeah. out my pocket. Through the breaks of school when I was not at Tech, LA Tech for y'all that don't know I went to LA Tech, that summer of 2013, I paid for my sec plus and I was only making 775. So the tweet at the top, it's a I don't I forgot who posted it, but it was like telling people to pay for certifications in this economy on a 70k salary is tone deaf and I felt like that's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Was um, this on Twitter? Yeah. I seen that. But here's a video of it. Good morning. I want to have a conversation with y'all about this tweet. You tell me how you feel and I'm going to tell you how I feel. I'm going to tell you straight up, pay for that certification. If there is a job you want that requires for you to have a certain certification, I don't give a fuck. How you get there, get the certification. If you are tired of living at 30000 40000 50000 60000 70000 and the job you want in tech will guarantee you the starting pay is between 90000 and 150000 and that is what you want to do. That is the job you want. That is the market that you want to be in. Pay for the certification. It will not harm you. A lot of us aren't willing to take sacrifices to get the things that we want. But in this industry, I feel like you have to take a sacrifice. You have to jump out on the ledge. You have to just do it. That means not going out for the month. That means not paying for that extra bottle of liquor this month. Getting those extra pair of shoes. Certifications. Entry level can cost you $100. And some of the higher certifications can run you up to $1,000. Don't make a difference. If you're making $70,000 today... You need to be putting aside $500 to pay for the exam that you want and allowing allowing that $500 to, to be your, your net that you can lose. Because it's, if, if, if you have Security Plus and all of the jobs that you want require you to have CISSP, you probably need to go get CISSP. If they require you to have a CAS Plus, probably need to go get cash plus if they require you to have pmp you probably need to go get pmp i don't give a fuck what your salary is now if it's gonna take you a year to save the money save the money get the certification that you need get the money however sacrifice but you gotta get to that point some way somehow i think he just started do what you need to do i think he ate he did but then he just started talking yeah but i think um i think there are people who are in positions where it is going to be difficult for them to save up money. It's going to take them a while. When there's That's a, not that it's going to be, but, but, but we are full of excuses. And just like if you know your mama birthday coming up, when you finna go spend that, whatever it is, like we have to be strategic and mindful of what we actually are spending our money on. And if you want to advance your career, you're going to have to put some money on it or find some way for you to get these certifications for free. Apply for scholarships and waivers and vouchers and things like that. Take advantage of you being a college student or a recent grad or whatever it may be. But I think we do come up with a lot of excuses as to why we can't pay for the – I don't even know how much Security Plus is. It's like 350 Yeah. Okay, let's – we can come up with a Listen, million reasons why we can't. I don't have no type of understanding for people because when I, in the, like, through the breaks of school. I pay for my own security plus yeah. out my pocket. Through the breaks of school when I was not at Tech, LA Tech for y'all that don't know I went to LA Tech, that summer of 2013, I paid for my Sec Plus and I was only making seven seventy five. Oh, I was making $20 an hour, so bye. And... I, so I was smart though. Now this is why I knew I um, saved like a big chunk of whatever refund I got mm-hmm. for that last quarter because I said I'm gonna need this money for something. And but the, you didn't know what it was, but you knew you was gonna need it. So I because I wasn't gonna be able to save up really the three hundred. I could have, but it was tough. It was gonna take you because I remember um, I did my first year of college 2010 through 2011. And so the following summer, going into the fall of 2011. So when did you get it? I got my Sec Plus in 2013. Yeah, you ate me up. I got mine in 2021. <laughs> but so I, what was what exam was that for you? One? 301, I think. Yeah. I took the 601. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But No, five. But, like, 
Back then, it was tough for me to sell $300 for a TV. Could you imagine a little 40 inch back then? It was like three something? Yeah. A Vizio? Yeah. Because <laughs> I had bought all my stuff there, but I was putting money away. Okay, I know it's this, 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 this. I'm looking at TV every day in electronics. I want that one. <laughs> you gotta make you gotta make sacrifices. You do. You're not eating out, and you could. You're not eating out, and these people don't even know. You're so, not hanging out. There's so many different organizations that would give you a voucher or something yeah. for this, and these people don't care. Mm-hmm. Like, but the fact they said 70k, like 70k was a, a person that couldn't afford getting the certification was stupid. Yeah, that you should have tried to use a lower number, but people make time for what they make time for. You see these kids with all the type of shoes on and all this other stuff that y'all buy that they don't need. Mm-hmm. When they come to invest in yourself, you want something for free or a handout. I yep. see it all the time. For sure. And you'll, and you'll see the same people that need help keep on needing help because they don't want to invest in themselves. I was just about to say, um, uh, Kiara. Kiara had wrote an article or she tweeted or something about how important it is for you. You're not about to keep getting game for free. You're going to have to decide what you're going to invest in to stay yeah. in the know with the people that are in the know, whether that's the stub stack, whether that's career coaching, whether that is whatever it may be. But you're going to have to start paying to to be able to get some of this game. Yeah, I don't think if anybody noticed, it's not an abundance of how to do this and get into free. The tech or whatever content that's being made as much as it used to be. It's not. All that is on on X somewhere. Go find it. But now people is shifting to the people that's already here, and who values what they say, and it can be a transaction that meets both expectations. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because people don't respect free. Please, people don't. People are so entitled when things are free. They don't. They don't respect free at all. So, I don't know. Get your certification any way you can. If you got fifty dollars, uh, a check that you could just put towards it. Shoot, you may be, and here's the other thing: these people may have jobs that may even support them getting the certification. Question: Because you pay for yours out of your pocket, how did you approach it, and how did you feel going into it? Uh, back then, I just got the book from uh, Barnes and Noble, and it came with a CD, but my laptop didn't work for like CD drive, so I couldn't get to do any of the labs. And every day when I got home from work, I said I'm gonna read. I think either. I finished the book in a week. So I either read 50 or 100 pages of that book. So I finished the book in a week. And then after that, I just started doing my online test. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I had a goal of saying I need to make 90 whatever on all these tests every time I take it in order to be ready for it. And so I ended up having to push it back a couple of weeks just so I can make sure I pass. I'm like, I ain't got no more money to take this no, thing. No, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> that's why I'm asking because I think that's another thing too. I think that... When you have to put forth the money, when it takes you some time to work to get that money for that certification, mm-hmm. this is the this is all you got. Because who got six something now? Because you didn't pass. You take it a lot more seriously. You approach it differently. Um, just like you said, I need a little bit more time. I might need to push it back. But I think it hits differently when it's coming out of your pocket, especially when you're not maybe in the strongest position financially yeah because sure. because i mine was not only did i pay for it it was also a part of my 90 day plan with my internship like my manager was like oh you're gonna get that in 90 no no and and i probably can find it if i can find it with my emails they almost tried to play me on let me reschedule pearson view i had luckily screenshotted my history that showed uh Change the time to take it on this date, but mm-hmm. for whatever reason, it didn't go through. Mm. And I had to go back and forth with them and say, Listen, dog, I ain't got no extra $300 to be yeah. paying y'all. I rescheduled this the right way. Something happened where it didn't go through, but this is, you can see right here on the history, I went there and they rescheduled it for me. Yeah. I was like, Bro. I was worried about, the, so obviously the money, right? But I was also worried about looking like a clown. Why? Um, because this was a part of my 90 day plan, and who don't want to meet? your first 90 days of what's required of you. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm like, oh, yeah, this this your moment. This your moment. Mm-hmm. Show them what you made of or get out the way. Yeah. I think you would have did good regardless. I don't think you had to feel like a clown because, in fact, you was putting yourself in a better position than most. Well, I'm saying I, I would have felt like one if I wouldn't have did well. Got gotcha. you. Like if I would have had to come back, pay for it, and then tell my employer, well, I didn't get it this time. I'm going to reschedule it for whenever. <laughs> Which is why you need to give yourself enough time. If they tell you you got 90 days, why are you scheduling the exam at the 80-day mark? No, you're right. Unless you just like 